the building. You can feel the tension in the building. All the emotions, all the feels. Game seven here on EA Sports. Just moments away from puck drop, both teams seem ready to go. Every game critical in the postseason. This one no different, and we are underway. Scooped up along the wall by Thomas. Slides the puck ahead into the neutral zone. And makes the save. The Sharks get a hold of the puck along the boards. Forces the turnover. The Sharks have it in the offensive end. Moves it quickly over to Pareko. Trip throws around the poke chip. Here they come on the attack. Denied with the glove by Benedict. The goaltender's at the last line of defense for a reason. This time, he bails his team out. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. Still looking for our first goal. Smart play to take possession, sneaking in off the wing. Slides the puck across to CeCe. Oh, what a close save there! Ref blows the whistle as the puck's covered up. Off the draw, he ties up his opponent. Sends the pass over. And now he angles it across to Joseph. Oh, we got a penalty coming up, as you can see that he was slowed down on the play. Let's get the call here. The Sharks have been handed two minutes for hooking. The Blues will have a chance to get on the power play for the first time this evening. First power play of the game and an opportunity to go up by one. And analytics will tell you when you score first, chances are you win the game. And the puck clears the zone. Knocked away by Shen. San Jose's got a hold of it against the wall. And they get some breathing room as the puck leaves the defensive end. Oh, did you hear that? That was a car crash out there. In order to dictate the tempo of the game right at the onset of it, you want to make your opponent think and hear you coming, and that's what he does with that first hit. Pyro is looking to win this draw and this man advantage here. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Denies him in front. As a goaltender, you want to make yourself as big as possible, and that's exactly what he does right there and just takes away the net. St. Louis has it behind the cage. Picked up along the wall by Tyro. Here's a chance. Plays it along the wing. Puts him right into the wall. 
Wow, this is great. He closes quickly, and you can hear the boards reverberate, James. This was a huge hit. With possession along the wall. And the puck skips away after that move. It almost looked as if he was gonna get by the defender, but that extra move took his face away, and it goes the other way. Grabs the puck here at the blue line. Pokes it away to keep the pressure on. Quick snap! Oh, he got all of that! What a save by Benedict! Inching closer to the midway mark of the period, the Blues have taken a 1-0 lead. And momentum on their side as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Oh, how did he get a goal on that? What a stop by Benedict! This is a fantastic save, James, and it makes it look easy. He's bobbing, he's weaving, trying to find the puck. He out battles the players in front of him to make it. The Sharks come up with the defensive zone draw. St. Louis plays it against the boards. And he loses control here. Turns up and away. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Sutherland. The Sharks take it along the wall. Takes the feed. Flips it up to that. Denies him. Moves the puck into the attacking area. There's an injection of energy with that hit. Oh, look at this. Sends it in deep. St. Louis takes hold of the puck. Here he is in front. Oh, what a stop by Bennington. Saad's got it on the offensive end. Sends it in front. And he denies that great opportunity there. Taken along the wall by Benning. Down the left wing, across into the offensive end. Shuts it down with the paddle, what a stop. Bennington's made a great save, and even better is the redirect to the corner. He got all that hit. Picks off the pass. St. Louis plays the puck along the boards. Too much traffic in the lane. Steps inside. Here's a short pass to Ferraro. St. Louis gains a hold of it. Here they come up along the wing. Quick feed down low. Delayed penalty looming. Look out! Whistle blow stopping the play. The coach is frustrated and it will mount if this continues to happen. So wants to have a conversation with the official to get an explanation as to why his team is getting more calls. to challenge the shooter in the slot. Shot! Scores! Pop and Wallace for a selling. What a shot that just had an insult to injury, isn't it? James, a top shooter shot that just sends the water bottle assailant. Man, that looked like a goal scorer's goal. Just a knack for the net, but it all comes off of a beautiful distribution. I mean, just eyes in the back of the head to be able to give that gift right to the stick. choice 
to Meaner because his team really didn't come ready to play. Now they're trailing in this game. They got a mountain to climb. The Blues are closing this period on a high note now, leading by two. Well, they've really taken control of this game in the first period, James. They've set the tone, and a lot of it's coming off of their shot selection. They're putting a ton of pucks to net. And play resumes as the puck is dropped. The Blues looking against the half wall. Picked up along the boards by Eklund. The Sharks move the puck in the defensive zone. Handles it again. Eklund's gain the line and on the attack. Moves it to the middle. Great defensive hits up play to pick it off. And somehow he hangs on. San Jose's got the puck along the wall. Granlin's gaining momentum. San Jose's got it along the wall. Granlin's working it around in the corner. And he slides it quickly to Walden. And that shot gets caught in traffic. Here's a chance! Oh, what a close save by Bennington! In the final moments of this period, St. Louis seems to be looking for more after increasing their lead to two goals. San Jose's won the faceoff. Lays the body. And turns aside the slapper with ease. Cruz taking it from his own end. The Sharks gain possession. Handles the puck at the point. Can't keep a hold of it. Here they come on the attack. Shot. Oh, what a chance lost. Well, this is frustrating, James. You do everything to get to the right position. You put yourself in a great A scoring area, and then you miss. That's frustrating. Sends it across. Blocker saved by the goalkeeper. And he takes the feed. Come back with period number two in months. Second period set to get underway. The second stanza is underway as the puck is dropped. Let's go. Well, we've seen a pretty good sample size already played thus far. Cheryl, your assessment. Vanacek's the only reason that his team is in this game, James, and he's been outstanding through the first 20. He's dialed in, he's focused, and his team needs to pick it up if they want a shot at winning this game. Sends it deep inside the offensive zone. Slides it diagonally to Eklund. Poked away by Pareko. St. Louis looks to get things going now with the puck. And he takes the feed. And that was read perfectly. What a play by Toffoli. Retreats with the puck inside the defensive zone. The Sharks have it now. Rocked him in the open ice. Good solid check, and he loses control of it. Here they come on the attack down the right side. The Blues have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Gaining momentum along the wing. Oh, that's tremendous poise in the defensive end to break off the pass. Gets a hold of the puck here in his own end. Takes a shot, and that doesn't reach the net. Picking up steam in the offensive zone. Takes the puck. And that one stopped. Vanacek's dialed in and able to redirect that puck to the corner. Angles it over to Couture. Still has possession. The Blues carry it along the wall. Here's a chance! Oh, what a tough save by Benedict! The Blues have been impressive to watch tonight. They've had a lot of shots on net, and they lead it here in the second. The Sharks win the draw. Now a quick pass to Koonin. He carries the puck up along the wing. Picked off by Sundquist. St. Louis is generating momentum off of the turnovers and the interceptions that they're creating by being in good positions and utilizing their sticks. This is a still a close one, though. They've got to convert if they want to win this game. Here we go. Pucks in deep. St. Louis looks to break out in their own end. 
San Jose, he's got a hold of it along the wall. Quick pass to Costin. Slides the puck down low. Tenacious battle for the puck along the wall. The Sharks ready to go on the attack. Oh, they telegraph the pass and he picks it off. And he feeds it down to Neighbors. Quick shot, turns it aside with the glove. There's the whistle as the puck stopper elects to hang on. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period, St. Louis is enjoying a 2-0 lead. Fax has won the draw here and they'll go on the attack. Along the wing up, here we go, two on one. Slides it across. Tries to feed it over to Holloway. And he loses possession of the puck after trying to make one too many moves. And the puck clears the zone. They'll be forced to leave as well. Feeds the puck across to Wallman. Here's a chance to make something happen inside the neutral zone. Moves it to Letty. Here they come. Down the left side on the attack. San Jose's got the puck along the boards. Levels him with the hit. Poked away at center by Holloway. Midway mark of the frame, the Blues lead this one to zip. Shens won it in their own end. Takes the pass. They've got numbers here. A chance at front. Oh, to finish up with the power save. I love how aggressively he plays the shooter on the inner slot here, James. He knows that he's got to take away the net so he gets out the challenges to make the save. The Blues have a decided edge in the shot department and also in the score as well here in the second. The Sharks gain the zone. Huge steal in his own end. They go on the attack through center. Shot! And he turned that one aside. In front and a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. Officials ready to drop the puck and get things back underway. San Jose's got it in the defensive zone. Pass to Sederland. The Sharks take it across the line. Here's a shot. Oh, what a glove save by Bennington. Lewis wins the faceoff. And now they look to make something happen from the neutral zone. Sends a pass over. Oh, he saved it. What a stop. Well, that's desperation at its finest to be able to get to that puck and sending a clear message to his team that he's behind him. He's going to be the foundation tonight. Vanacek's been excellent tonight, James. I mean, the score could be a lot worse. The save percentage is crazy. He's doing everything to keep his team in it. They need to flowing and there is no lag in their play. It has been a consistent effort and they simply have lit their opponent on fire. Fires it on net. Scores! Break out the clutch here on the skillet because that's a ball run answer. Well, it's incredible. You can tell that they are moving and shaking. They're getting the puck going north. They're transitioning so fast. And man, do they have their opponent on their heels.
see the complete frustration of the coach just looking down at his bench really doesn't know how who to put out there right now because no one's delivering no one's putting forth an effort it's extreme frustration behind the bench the Blues continue to show no signs of slowing down here tonight. Well, they keep filling the net, James. They feel it because they've got the puck on their sick. I mean, they've led Ozone possession time here, but they're doing something with it, not just hanging out on the perimeter. Puts it on net. Denied by Bennington. Goaltender covers it up, and we'll get a reset here. St. Louis came to play tonight. Look at the scoreboard here as they have been one busy team offensively. The Sharks win that offensive zone faceoff. Knocked away with the stick by Wallman. And the traffic jam in front blocks the shot. Takes the feet at the back end. Coonan's got it in the defensive end. There's a collision with some authority. Works it across to Pareko. Down the right side and into the zone. And that's knocked away in the defensive end by Weber. Moves it quickly over to Thomas. Both sides digging in for that puck along the wall. Quick feed to Falk. Can't complete the pass as it goes off a stick. Strong defensive effort. The Sharks have it against the wall. Bumped off the puck. Good stand-up hit on the play. Feeds it over. And he meets that one square on to stop it. St. Louis has made the most of their opportunities leading late in the second with several scoring chances tonight. The Sharks win the draw. He's got it behind the cage. Lays into the body on the play. And they're in the final minute of the second. Receives the pass. St. Louis has it against the half wall. Great reach with the poke check. Here's a short pass to Torchenko. Oh, he got rocked there. He got crushed, James, but it looked like it was a clean hit, but sends his stick flying. Buzzer bringing the second period to an end. You don't want to go home yet, do you? Third period action still to come. Teams are lined up and they are ready to get this third period underway. Curious to see if there was any message sent in the room in that second intermission because it has been a blowout thus far. I wonder if they might even just run the clock. Two-thirds of the way to the finish line and this one for regulation time. Cheryl, how do you view it? The Sharks have had a ton of great A scoring chances. They just haven't been able to solve the goaltender. They can't get frustrated. I really like their play. They just got to stick with the game plan and continue to attack the net. Great use of the stick in the defensive end by Ruda. And it's a quick pass to Pareko. Solid check to slow him down. Grabbed along the board by Ekwin. Fires it, and that's broken up. San Jose's got possession. Scores! We'll get those rally caps on. Uh, everyone's going to need to have one on. It's going to be a team collective contribution if they want to get back in this one. But it all starts with one goal. If they can layer it, find a way to get another one quickly, you never know. Certainly down, but not out completely yet. Fan base watching, streaming, taking this one in wherever, probably wondering where was this earlier? Yeah, it's frustrating for an athlete when you know what you can play like, you know what your team can play like, you just don't perform. But late in the game here, they need goals, they need a pile of them. If they need one, have an opportunity to get their tender out of the net. Quick pass to Wolman. Pumps it away in his own end. St. Louis with possession in their own zone. Swatted away with the stick in the defensive zone. Moves it to CeCe. Broken up by Falk. 
San Jose's got possession of the puck. Peterson's got the puck, and we'll get a whistle here with a stoppage of play. Well, this is a smart play, James. He's made huge saves all throughout the game, and this is a smart decision to be able to preserve the lead. He knows exactly where he's at, and he gets a much-needed face-off. St. Louis has the puck here off the face-off. Slides it up to Joseph. Can't keep a hold of it as he's jostled off the puck. Scooped up along the wall by Benning. Great save from in tight. And we get a whistle as the goaltender decides to hang on to this one. The Blues have built themselves up a comfortable lead here in this third period. St. Louis takes possession off the draw. Moves it quickly over to Folk. Torchenko's got the puck in his own zone. Quick feed to Wenberg. Oh, just a great heads-up play by Kunin. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. Gives him a joke with that hit. And here's a shot. And that's blocked from someone in front. Looking to set up offensively. Takes a shot. Denies him on the play. Picking up momentum across the zone here on the right side. And now it's to Torchenko. St. Louis plays it along the wall. Picked up along the boards by Sundquist. Here's a short pass to Pareko. Covers it up and we'll get a stoppage in play. The Blues continue to lead big here in this third period. Grandlands won the draw here in their own zone. Along the boards, they battle for the puck back and forth. Quick pass to Eklund. Poked away in the neutral zone. Hangs on to the puck after taking a hit. The Blues take possession in the defensive end. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. Some solid defensive work in their own end with the poke check. Picked up along the wall by Eklund. Centering feed. Oh, he comes up with a stop. St. Louis on the attack. Moves it to Bushnevich. Working the puck deep inside their own end. And he takes the dish. Handles the puck. The Blues played along the wing. Slides the puck down low. And that's a great heads up play by Benning. Moves it quickly over to Toffoli. And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. St. Louis has been humming along all night long in the offensive zone, and they lead in this third. San Jose's won the draw, and they'll go to work. Big time stop there. Too much congestion in front. Gaining speed through center, and here they come on the attack. Goalie makes a save. And the puck stopper hangs on to get a breather here for the team. More than half the frame has been played here. St. Louis has been impressive tonight. What can you say? 4-1 is where we sit. Here's a blast! Denies him on the one-timer! Oh, a big-time hit on the play. Well, and it's another hit. I mean, how many times is that now, James? He's going to continue to be a target if his head is down. The Blues can simply take this on cruise control based on the lead that they now have here in the third. Off the face off, they take the puck. Gets it over to Saad. St. Louis is in the offensive zone. The Blues take possession here in the open ice. San Jose is looking to break out of their own end. And the puck's not loose. Big hit and that frees up possession. Gains the zone on the left wing. Here's a shot. Scooped into the trapper by Bennington. That's an incredible save, James. I mean, he's got presence in his crease, and he's also got a great glove hand, and he shows it right there with that save. Centers are lined up, and we are ready to resume. The Blues win the draw on their own end. San Jose, he's got it now. Oh, and somehow he gets a sliver of it and keeps him at bay. 
The Blues played along the boards. San Jose's got control of it now from their own end. And that's blocked in traffic. Taken along the wall by CeCe. Oh, he hammered him. Oh, uh, you knew exactly what he was doing going into this along the boards, James. I love that it was a clean hit. He finishes it off perfectly. He's out battling his opponent right now. He is so dialed in. He's trapped in the puck, making save after save. It's a battle. Stars! Well, they needed something, and that clearly was something, Cheryl. Yeah, it certainly was, and there's some pushback, but they're going to need to layer it because they got to get closer than within two if they want to find a way back in this game. The Sharks haven't had a lot of things go their way tonight, but they finally got a positive here in the third. They're going to have to outnumber their opponent if they want to call back from this two-goal deficit. They're running out of runway. They're going to find a way to get some chances. St. Louis takes a hold of the puck in the neutral zone. Quick feed, Karuda. Slides the puck over. Can't keep a hold of it. The Blues gain possession along the wall. Trying to get back on the attack now. By the goaltender. Official blows the play dead as the puck goes out of bounds. Here in the late going to the frame, the Sharks are still trailing by two. Granlin's won the faceoff, and now let's see what they can do. No room for that one to get through. Comes up with a big plus save! Pennington's gonna hang on and play. Nothing gives confidence to a team more than a big save, and he's been doing it all night, James. Both teams gliding into position, and the official set to drop the puck. San Jose's got it in the offensive zone. Denies him! He got all of it! St. Louis has it near the wall. The Sharks have it in the offensive end. advantage with the goaltender out and it's all about numbers now James it's about outnumbering your opponent all over the ice finding the seams and then really pressing and being urgent in and around the paint they didn't get the start that they had wanted but they're heading in the right direction and after that last goal the coach is impressed with his team's performance finding a way and that's what it's about, being resilient. And you can see that that frustration he had, it's gone. The Sharks desperately needed something, and they finally made it happen. Now they're in the final frame here, but they got one back. And you know what that's like as an opponent when you know that that team is coming and they're a wave. There's a lot of urgency, and they're a dangerous team right now. Dishes it to Kairou. Slides it across. And he hits one of his own teammates with that shot. Moves the puck along the half wall. Let's get the call. This team already losing and getting a call in the third period. He is already ready. He recognizes this just might be the nail in the coffin.
assurance to their lead. And just look at the coach behind the bench. He is exploding with excitement right now. And why not? They can clinch the playoff series right now. The Blues with that empty netter should seal the deal here, barring a complete, absolute, epic disaster, right? I would say that, James. And, and that was perfectly executed, I might add. The empty netter, that's the only time I'd ever get one. But when you look at that and the lead that they now have, it would have to be disastrous to give it up. The Sharks have it now. Oh, what a hit against the boards! Executed perfectly, James. I mean, he can't maneuver. He's got nowhere to go. He's lined up, and then he's taken down. And as the final seconds tick away, listen to this place recognize a hard-earned victory. Well, this is what happens when you start to chase the game and find yourself looking to get better to position, and it's the slashing call. They're cracking down on it. Two-minute minor. That is a lonely cage at the other end of the ice here, Cheryl. Well, it certainly is, and an extra attacker on the ice. Possession is critical. Got to win this faceoff. St. Louis has the puck in their own end. And as the nine seconds tick away, they can exhale as they're moving on to the next round.